your girl Danaya and I am back with another video for you guys so today as you can tell by the title today is gonna be a story time about my first time auditioning for a freaking movie <laughs> y'all this wasn't like a commercial this wasn't like a fake TV series like this is a legit movie your girl auditioned for a movie so i'm gonna break it down in this story time it is hilarious but first before we get started subscribe to my channel give me a big thumbs up if you guys want to continue to see content from me let's get into this video y'all ready i don't think y'all ready y'all ready <laughs> hey let's do it so it started off one night i was sitting here at home just searching through the movies this one movie just caught my eye so i'm like oh I'm about to watch this tonight. So boom, click it, watching the movie, loving the movie. And while I'm watching, I'm starting to notice like some familiar areas in the in the film. So I'm like, oh sh This was filmed in Dallas. Like this movie was filmed in Dallas. It actually has a scene from where I live at now. And I was like, oh snap, like this is a Dallas movie. So me being me, I just wanted to research and learn more about the film and like whoever wrote the movie. I go on Instagram and I type in the guy's name. Ended up finding out, yes, it's in Dallas. Like he's produced a lot of different films. You know, he's wrote a lot of different films, I should say. So I'm just like, oh wow, like this is dope. Like let me find out. So I go to the top of his page and I see that he is currently casting for roles for part two of this movie so it's the same movie but part two guys so i'm like wait 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 is this for me you know like is this like a sign anywho so you know me i'm gonna take the opportunity so i reached out to my friend arsha and i'm just like oh my god like it's this role like I sent her the whole description because he sat down and he listed all of the like characters and like the description of their roles so I'm like oh my gosh like this girl like this is me like the the role for that character described me to a T I'm like this is me like I need to be this girl I want to say the name of the role but I'm not because you guys don't know what movie but anyway so I'm like this is me like she's like girl if you don't go do it like just go but I already knew I was gonna go. I'm like, what can I lose? At the end of the day, what can I lose? So this was the role that I was going out for was the lead role. So I'm just like, if I get it, I'm gonna be the lead in a movie. Like what? Like I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm going to try, like why not? Anyways, I'm going back and forth for a few weeks. So probably about, two or three days before the actual audition date i ended up emailing him and i'm just like hey like i'm interested it says that you don't need any experience like what's up what's good can your girl get in this movie or no like can i please audition so he's just like yeah you have to send in a headshot i had to send in my resume which I don't know why because acting wasn't up there. But I had to send my resume. And I also had to send in something else. I don't know. It was something else I had to send in. And then he also wrote me back and said you have to prepare a monologue. So I'm like okay perfect. I will see you. <laughs> Guys I've, I've never act before. Like I've never not even in a school play so i'm just like i don't a monologue like honestly i had to look up a monologue just to make sure that like, i knew exactly what it was like so i went and i researched monologues and for some reason it was only like two to three main monologues that kept coming up one from the diary of a mad black woman when she went off on charles so that was a monologue and i just was like mm, i don't uh, that's not really my style the second one that came up was from the for color girls and it was janet jackson's 
role you know she told her husband how he i just was not i was not feeling that either and then what was the third one the third one was something that i didn't even care about because i was like no i can't do it so i started doing some more research have you guys seen aaron brockovich the movie so i haven't really seen that movie i only seen it on and off but anyway when i saw that she had a monologue i'm like let me look into it so this monologue was called numbers <laughs> i'm about to do a little preview for y'all so y'all can know how good it was y'all this is how i did in the audition i turned around so you want my number i do i do want your number which number do you want george right George. Now I like the way you say that, George. Uh, well, how many numbers you got? Oh, I got numbers coming out of my ears. For instance, ten. Ten. Yeah, sexy, huh? How about this for another number? Six. That's how old my other daughter is. Eight is the age of my son. Two is the amount of times I've been married and divorced. Sixteen is the amount of money that I have in my bank account. 8503943. That's my phone number. And with all the numbers I gave you, I'm guessing zero is the amount of times you're gonna call it. Get off my porch. So, guys, that was numbers. So, that's a snippet of how it goes. First of all, Julia Roberts is a mother loving beast. Anyways, had a day to practice. Everything was going smooth. Had learned the lines, etc. Next morning, you know, practicing before my actual audition. I had to go to South Dallas to audition for this role. So when I got to the place, I was just like, oh my God, like, I'm not about to go in. Like, I'm nervous. But then I kept thinking, like, Danae, what do you have to lose? Like, live your life. Like, live your life. So I'm like, oh this i'm going inside it was so funny because i'm nervous like i'm looking for this line like is there a lot of girls already there and i kind of came like later on in the day because they gave you a time frame and there was no line <clears throat> but i walked straight ahead i can kind of see the lady she was like waving me to come so i'm like okay i'm walking down walking down looking cute had on my heels looking cute you know so i get into the room and for one i see this girl sitting on the left and she's just like looking like she's about to throw up and then I see the lady who's like checking in all of the people who are auditioning so I give her my information email she takes a photo of me and, I, and she gave me a number so then I sat down and I'm trying not to be on my phone it was just so awkward because it was like dead silence in there the girl that looked like she was about to throw up next to me I'm looking at her like what is going on so she's shaking and she's like and I'm like, oh my God, like, I hope she's not, you know. So I asked her, I'm like, girl, what is wrong? Are you okay? I'm, <laughs> I'm that person, y'all. So I'm just like, are you okay? And she's like, I'm just so nervous. I don't know if I want to go in. Like, I can't do this. And so, you know, I'm giving her this prep talk. I'm like, honey, just go in. What can happen? Just audition. You're already here. You're already dressed. Give it a chance. And she's just like... I can't do it I can't so I'm just like I don't know because then the lady from inside of the audition room a girl comes out and she's like number 13 how ironic but anyways number 13 come on in so I'm like okay sorry girl like I hope you decide to audition so I go in and y'all this is what I was not expecting walked into the freaking audition and it's like four girls as soon as you walk they're mean mugging me they're like just me mugging me and I'm just like hi and none of them said hey the director was there then he had another guy who was like his producer and then they had two badass kids running around and I'm just like oh okay like hi <laughs> you know so they're like okay stand in the middle I'm like okay so I turn to, I turn to them and I'm just like hi I introduce myself the girls are still me mugging the crap out of me and I'm just like okay I don't need that energy like for one I'm already nervous <laughs> too I'm just freaking out so they're just like so one of the girls was like state your name again so I'm like Danaea finally one girl she seemed a little bit nicer even though she did have a mean mug she was just like okay take your time whenever you're ready you can start so I'm like okay so yeah I turn around <laughs> in my position let me show you I turned around at this moment I'm like girl just do it but I'm like so nervous I wanted to walk out like I don't want to do it no more so I'm just like this you want my number <laughs> 
you know, I start off with that line. I turn around. As soon as I saw them looking at me, y'all, <laughs> my mind went blank. I could not remember anything. And it's so frustrating because I'm like, what the hell? Like, I've been practicing. Like, I knew this monologue. So, I just start talking. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're already like, what is she What is she doing? You know? So I'm just like, yeah. So you don't love me? You really don't love me anymore? You want my number? You can't have my number. Like, I'm just up here coming out <laughs> of my days with something. Like, you can't have my number. You will never have my number. Like, just t kept talking and I'm like, in my mind, y'all, I'm telling myself, girl, shut up. Like, just shut up. Be quiet, Danae. I don't like telling myself to shut up. So I'm just like, Kayette. You know, that's shut up, but it's in a nice way. Kayette, girl. Just, a uh, zoop. Just, uh, just, just wrap it up somehow. Your girl kept talking, y'all. <laughs> Your girl kept saying stuff. At this point, I don't remember what I said because I was just, I don't remember. And at the end, you know, I'm just like, oh, like, I'm so, I was like, hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Like that scene in the movie. I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. And one of the guys, he was like, no, like, you did great. Like, you're so beautiful. Like, you did great. And I'm just like, okay. Like, I'm leaving out, like, a little bit happier because I'm like, they don't, I don't know, hopefully they didn't see that movie. But, you know, I'm just like, shit, like, he's he giving me props. Like, I, I killed that. I rocked that. Like, at the end of the day, I was just like, oh, like, I finessed that. So, when I leave out, you know, I just say goodbye. They tell me that they'll email me, etc. And it was like, they wanted to make sure that I was available. So, that's boosting me up, too. I'm like, oh, they want to know that I'm available, like, you know? So, anyways, I walk out. The girl's still sitting there, freaking out. So, I'm just like, girl, you might as well just go in and get it over with. She jumps. She's like, I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. So, she just jumped up and went in. I was like, go, girl. Like, go ahead, girl. Time passed by. I'm looking for my email. <laughs> Your girl killed this. He said all this. What's, what's good? Where's my, y'all? Months went by, and I Still hadn't received my my offer. Like I'm waiting for my. <laughs> you got the lead role, guys. So yeah, that was a bus. They didn't even give me an explanation to why I didn't get the role. <laughs> I am crazy, but at the end of the day, it was all for fun. But that was my first ever audition story time guys like i think that young is so crazy went in there thought i was getting a role says what role you getting you went in there you forgot the lines two you, you did a probably a four to five minute monologue saying you don't love me you really don't love me <laughs> yo that i think like this is just nuts you don't love me you really don't love me. So yeah. I didn't get the bro. I didn't get the bro. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my story time. Y'all I have so many other crazy stuff. That I do on a daily. But I'm going to just base out my story times. Because they just too juicy. Like I have juicier story times. But I don't know if I want to share that yet. Probably when I get my channel to a certain amount of subscribers. I'll probably start posting those a little bit more. But until then I'm not giving out all the juice yet. But yeah guys. Again don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Down below to this video. Well to my channel. But make sure you thumbs up this video. And yeah. My acting days are over as of now. I'm not going to say forever, so if anyone's watching this and you got a role, you think I would be perfect for it, go ahead and email your sister, because you know, I'm not going to block my blessings by saying I will never act again, but as of right now, it's shut. Thank y'all for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Peace and love. Catch y'all later. Bye. Bye. Then I toss and turn in my bed.